Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. And I am joined once again by Zuzio. Look of Zuzio, a thousand of what? <laughs> so, last time we ended up on a uh, stranded on an island, became a boat, and then, um, got control of another boat. Yeah, lots of boats. Boats, boats, boats. <laughs> boats and boats. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're not done with our modes of transportation. We've been in a blimp, we've been in a boat, and this time, provided that something doesn't happen, we're going to be on a train. Trains, but, uh, trains, trains. Trains, trains, trains. All are good, none are bad. <laughs> But before we get on the train, there are still some things we need to do. We didn't actually do the troubles uh, for Chapter 5, so we're going to be doing that first. Only two of them. Meet and speak to someone for me. Gotta go to Twilight Town. Do it and do it right. Do it right. Let's go, I'm um, Actually, hang on, where... I think the, uh... The pipe was over on the west side, wasn't it? Uh, that sounds right. It's not a far trip to come here, but now we gotta figure out who he is. Here, that's for a damn sure. Wow. Are you Eve? No, you are not. I appear to be having some connection issues. I don't know if it's with Discord or if it's just in general. Indeed it was. It seems to be a little better now, so hopefully fine. <laughs> okay, so this is this is Eve. We have found Eve. Need someone whose name is Podley. Which one is Podley? Like they they all have very similar okay. names. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. Left. Only this. Well, that's not very helpful. Yeah. That is sad, though. Yeah. <laughs> At least you have that, but still it kind of yeah. sucks that you had to, um, that you ended up giving up on everything because some yeah. joke left. Okay, so it's the one rogue port. Alright. Aww. Also, that Mario Luigi Superstar Saga reference. <laughs> Yeah, um... 
I, I don't always pick up on those because, like, I have played the first one as well, mm -hmm. but it's been a long time. Yeah, that's fair. We have the Chocolate Cola and... stuff for that game. Yeah, the Chocolate Cola. <laughs> Well, it, it's better than the uh, the juice stand in uh, in uh, Glitzville. It definitely sells juice and doesn't sell something else that <laughs> you know definitely. probably is alcoholic, and we don't want the kids to know. Ow. Yeah, no, no. Sure. <laughs> I'll put Ah, if I countered that, I would have been perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Flavio's back to chilling. Yep. Now, as for you, buddy, you got some splaining to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a valid reaction. Yeah. That's not a valid reaction. No. <laughs> Dude got bapped. Got bapped. <laughs> the bapping is happening. The bapping is happening. Very good. <laughs> So I tried earlier to get this working on the Switch and um, limited success basically. Switch? Yeah, um, the, there is a port of RetroArch for the for the Switch, right? Um, yeah, probably. What should we do? Uh, I'd say tell the truth. Yeah, probably best. Yeah. I don't think he's forgotten. I think yeah. he's being an ass. I think he's being an ass too. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, Zesty. Oh, uh, Zesty. <laughs> she, she's kind of an ass too, but at least she made us yeah. good food. Yeah, that's that's true. She didn't oh. need a cookbook to know that game mix ingredients to make better food, though. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying, Mom? Aww. <laughs> anyway, I, I was uh, I was trying to get that going, and um, so there is a port of RetroArch for the Switch, but uh, that port uh, 
but the regular part of it doesn't actually have a uh, GameCube core. Uh... Um, however, there is also a port of Laka for the Switch, which is effectively RetroArch, but as an operating system. <laughs> okay. And that one does have the GameCube port. Um, I I tried to run it at least just to the uh, to the title screen, and I managed to get the title screen eventually running at uh, 60 frames a second. But uh, right. even that was a bit of a struggle, and I didn't even get into the game at all. So. Goom goom. Now this one's looking for a gal. <laughs> so this is on Keel Halky. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Yeah. The storeroom deep in the cave? What? Okay. I don't remember that part. Well, maybe would have been nice if, um... Yeah, you would meet me on the beach? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a little bit more convenient for everyone involved, I think. <laughs> I do like how Cortez just chills out on the boat now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, also there's Luigi. Oh, hi Luigi. <laughs> Bye Luigi. Aw, <laughs> oh, it's a Daisy as a partner. Yay. Daisy is probably very disgruntled at Luigi because he seems yeah. to be doing that. To uh, yeah. <laughs> his partners. So I'm gonna guess that I need to go this way. Probably correct. Where is the store? Oh, definitely not here. Hmm. Maybe here wasn't the way to go. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's really gonna make you go all the way around the island to take the front entrance. <laughs> Game on you, game. Please tell me. Please tell me. Thank you. <laughs> that was the boss. Uh, they're both Piantas. There's not a lot of Piantas. Mm. <laughs> Racism. <Damn>. What? <laughs> I think I might know approximately where to go. It's still gonna be annoying to get there. Yeah.
Well, that was on me. <laughs> um, what's the what's the button for there? Also, nice about fuzzy. Okay, I think you played the game on that one. <laughs> it is kind of hard to say exactly where I am. Yeah. But it was nice of that fuzzy to not bother us. Yeah, just chillin' there. <laughs> Living his best life. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna have it again. Yeah. Also, at least the cave is just open now. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well, I well, I think I, I I think I was on the way to just running between them, and then I turned around because I flinched. Yeah, yeah, he just kept on working. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you able to do any damage on this guy? I don't like that our audience is steadily going down. Yeah. That's a problem. Oh good. Yay! <laughs> uh, let's go with... Where is that walking damage? Provided she doesn't miss. <laughs> yeah. This I don't think can miss. Or maybe it can. The more you know. Right. <laughs> Wait, that, was, that was the wrong thing. That was, uh, that was Chef Excellence. Ah, uh, <laughs> Make sure to get rid of you. And then I should get, I should be able to get just rid of you. Okay. Okay. That's the wrong button. Hmm. Oh, well, no. I did. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> well, that didn't work either. Doing a struggle right there. Doing me a struggle. There we go. the storeroom? It probably isn't. I don't think it is. Doesn't look like the very... Looks like there's a lot of storage in there, so... 
I think this might be the story we're not heading toward. I'm not sure. <laughs> but. I seem to recall a room that looks like it could be a storeroom somewhere. <laughs> This looks pretty, pretty storm roomy. Hey! There you are! There's our dude. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't have met us out on the beach? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I could go looking for one. <laughs> or I could use the one I already have. She is kind of cute, though. She is cute. Maybe a bit sick. Like, I, I asked you to do this three seconds ago. <laughs> and, uh, oh jeez. I don't think this is gonna go well. No, no. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Coming out a little strong there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> sure, that's exactly what's going on. <laughs> eh. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. I forgot this was a thing. Me too. Let's get moving indeed. Oh, we really that solved is... the trouble. <laughs> that was the last trouble for uh, chapter 5. Hey. So I think after that we fall in the water. <laughs> As we do. As we do. So then we get back to report, uh, talk to Luigi, and then we can see about getting that uh, train ticket. Yeah. Which will be really easy to get. I'm sure it won't make us come back to Keohal Key. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> and talk to Frankie and Francesca. Because I have to talk to the friggin' Pianta boss again. And if we do have to talk to them, it'll be for a reasonable number of times. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to do that with just one flip. And then I fell in a walk. <laughs> do a flip! Did a flip. Why just let's go to for swim today, okay? Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there there's literally like piranhas everywhere. Yeah, they're ruining the vibe. <laughs> oh. This is Not the deep water, yeah. <laughs> Again. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> We've done that enough times for today. <laughs> you two. See you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
not telegraphing anything at all. No, no certainly not. Very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Take us back. Well, I got another piece of the marvelous compass, a Jazzafast town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned that adventuring, uh, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Ooh, it was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? Let's hear it. But like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jadafaz Town, we were, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there and they're always smiling. While looking for a piece of the compass, I met a hit daisy named Hazy. Hazy Daisy. Probably the one behind you. Probably. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But here's the, uh, said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. Oh jeez. <laughs> he said the so-called drama llama plaque might in fact be one of the parts. Drama llama. <laughs> drama llama. <laughs> well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed the ca with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. What now? <laughs> Not a very catchy name. No. <laughs> the script was great, but it got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. <laughs> I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. Well, you are green. Yeah, I think mean, it's appropriate. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care uh, if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. A huge after party just bummed me out even more, so I just snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine, cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! Well, there are flowers. Yeah, yeah. After that, I added the piece of the marvel to, to the Marvelous Compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruin ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I will be grass for you. What? Oh, uh, well? <laughs> I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. And, she shall, oh and, and you shall be hers. And you shall be her squishy. Oh yeah. Wow, sorry about that, girl. Um, yeah, so anyway, so yeah, anyway, then I got back in my boat. I came back to Roadport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Exciting. <laughs> so what's the real story, my friend? <laughs> I'm Hazy, and I must say Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm gonna be known as the Red Miracle. And of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, so. If she likes Luigi, then. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. <laughs> it's an actual good adventure. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Don Piante. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure he told us never to go see him again. Uh, where was he again? Was it in here? That sounds right. 
Do we have to do the thing again? Or like... Oh no, right, 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 right. I remember. Alright, it's was... a bit of a shop, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's in the shop. And we have to do the thing here, and she opened the door. Yeah. How's it going, gentlemen? Oh dear. <laughs> hey, oh, no. it ain't the guys from before. You need to meet with the boss again once again, eh? Well, normally we could, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snooping. Francesca. Ah, poor boss. Big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his da his daughter ski daddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? What is the syndicate to do? Indeed. That scruffy gang, gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left, right and left. But hey, enough about our, enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the rest of Ritzy's train around? For the Excess Express? Well, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding? Ah, uh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving us giving out tickets. That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. And just the... I can't. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. We knew where those newlyweds was. We could take the boss to see him. You mean those Piantas, Frankie and Francesca? They're on Kilhall Key. Who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianto's at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into the confetti, so help me. Oh, yeah. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring it back here, huh? Dear pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring you bring us young Miss Francesca. We can do, uh, we'll do what we can to get you a trade tickets. We gotta deal with well. Sure, why not? Take a hike, bub. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you just couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Indeed. As one person would say, do it and do it right. Yeah. So, one thing that we probably could have done is taken on that last trouble and then talk to the Piantas um, before heading off to Kiyolki. But, um, I'm not the smartest person sometimes, so here we are. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I hardly know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing in rando memes into the long play. <laughs> Perfectly fine. <laughs> Alright, so the, the pop's done and water hydration has finally been achieved. Yay. I just want to give it a good like five ten minutes after finishing the pop so I can finish enjoying the taste. That is fair. If you if you're a pop drinker or if you're a drinker of any sort of flavored beverage, you're probably doing it for the flavor. Also, wait, what? Oi, Captain Stash! What, the Piantas? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something. Some, looking for something, I think. Okay, well... Uh, 
Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. It's Mario. How you been there, pal? We, we do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. At a time like this... You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. Can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and the skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check out on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Lenny is sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? Uh... <laughs> if you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Plus, I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, find your crazy dame. Love you, love you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are serious about this, and we're counting how many times. <laughs> so that you actually are aware of. Oh, jeez. They committed to this bit anyway. Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> At least they added the counter so that you can just kind of speed through it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> yeah. Now, my little green buff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? What? You think these guys are gonna be alright looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario. We better play it safe and healthy, don't you think? You said it, Omelette. You said it, and... Well, maybe Ms. Mouse can help us look for treasure? Maybe. And I jumped on the spiky thing. Oof! Because it's not bad enough that our audience was, like, going down real fast. We started with 98 and we're down to 79. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Also, our audience is all kidneys now. How'd you get all, all get here? I, I just remembered I probably need to refill that before I take the train. Oh, uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. There's no oh, poison. No. There we go. Yeah. First one of the day. <laughs> Somehow missed the stylish on that. There we go. That's how you handle that. Jump on the spoldies. Don't jump on the spike thing. And the other part fell into it. Just for good measure. How's the tree? Time Mario's poison. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Fortunately, poison goes away once the battle is done. That is nice. That would be bad if status effects persisted in this game. 
Also, it'd be kind of hard to make it stick, because the only the only way that you can lose health um, on the field is if uh, you get spiked or fallen water. Yeah. Alternating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh jeez. Still any flower well, points. That's great. Probably need to deal with you. Yeah. I didn't say we were uh, we were going to immediately be on the train, or really said that we were on the train at all. I said I like trains. <laughs> I also like trains. But uh, we probably are going to be on the train pretty soon. We just need to find a lost ring, which... There's treasure here and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere between here and here, but where is it? Maybe Flurry? I don't know. I already tried Flurry. Oh. Uh. a hidden block it's not something that I can probably hit right now. Unless it's up unless it's up top, because uh this mouse does uh react up here too. Was that it? I hope that was it. <laughs> That would be uh, disappointing. No. Actually, I think that wasn't. The hidden block? No, the, uh, the, the one coin that I found in the bush, but now she's sniffing something else. You know, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's probably not the ring. Let's just keep moving. That's probably a fair assumption. Uh, peculiar. There. there it is. 
There it is. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> oh, and everyone's back. Cool. This is what I always want for Christmas. <laughs> Jump on the spiky thing. As 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 uh, George Carlin once said, "Don't jump the spiky stuff, and don't spike the jump the jumpy stuff." I don't think that's what he said. Close enough, probably. The actual quote, of course. Don't hit the sw uh, don't sweat the pity stuff, and don't hit the sweaty stuff. <laughs> These fights are actually worth something. Yeah. They're not gonna be like one to zero to two to XP or whatever. Yeah. Um, let's set them even more on fire. Yeah. And I ran out of time, but okay. <laughs> we, we killed them anyway. Got a Vivian the Shulk now, so. Yes. There you go. There huh? you go. That's it! That's my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. You sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. I was hoping Vivian would have something to say about it. Yeah. I wonder what uh, that ring was doing there. Yeah, what were they doing there? <laughs> or if they weren't there, they had it up there. I don't know. So many questions. <laughs> okay, Mario. I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to World Four. Oh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. Well, fortunately, there is not any like back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, this chapter is fairly backtracking free. It would, it like I said, it would have helped if I had taken that uh, that uh, trouble um, after oh. talking to the Pianta gang. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But uh, oh, foresight well. is uh, well, hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Man, they're running as fast as, uh, <laughs> as Omelette. They got the zoomies. They got the zoomies. For freedom. 
<laughs> Actually, you have anything useful this time? You have a Wario emblem. <laughs> Mega Rush, which I would rather not sit in peril. Oh, it's a speedrunner badge. <laughs> it is definitely a speedrunner badge. <laughs> because who in their right mind would want to do that unless they're speedrunning? <laughs> So, some crazy things that speedrunners will do, and I'll tell you about them. I'll tell you about one of them after this scene is done. <laughs> daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes, boss. Maybe not jump on the bed, Mario. <laughs> eh. Eh. Jessica? Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little friend Jessica. You came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. And Jessica, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stumbled old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but... I want the two of you to stay here with me. Can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. And this time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. It's like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The, the dawn of what now? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Gasp! No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianza Syndicate. What? But, boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. I mean, me? Boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Ah, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What'd you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the excess express if he brought your daughter. <laughs> is that all? He had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten, help yourself. Yay! Yay. How many would we have? I guess like eight? Because we like have eight. seven partners in Mario. Yep, eight. You come yeah, back love... anytime you like, how about that? Yeah, I love that wordplay too. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that. You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Andy Waddle, that way. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Frankie, we got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with a pet name nonsense, will ya? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, for well, Miss Boss. <laughs> I'm the boss. Uh, I mean, boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother. You ain't bad, kiddo. 
Yeah, you want me to think of joining up with the syndicate? It's the white kid. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the ticket. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was basically a Yakuza game. Yes, yes, yes! We can go to Poshley Heights! Yes! That's this crystal star is as good as ours! <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. So, the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks, ever so. Hey, you're that Beldum! Normally, this would be where I would finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying, to, trying that alone might be unwise. So, you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for a port station. Is there a shadow on this box? I cannot tell. Might just be an open box, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Well... Oh, there's one more piece of business that I just thought of. And that is... We gotta support our bro. Oh, there isn't a new, a new chapter in the book. <laughs> Grow supported, let's go. <laughs> Did we read this before? Nope. Last ways. With treasure, baby? <laughs> there was not much treasure. Damn. Mustache is back from Kealaki, Key. I wanna go. Who cares if I get cursed? Everyone wants to make some easy money. <laughs> I think I saw an interesting character on this screen. <laughs> interesting character? That like what Western. Mm, this guy? Yeah. Was he a character from the first game? I mean, it looks like him. But I guess not. <laughs> that would have uh, been a cool thing. Was that? That would have been cool if it was him, but. <laughs> would have been interesting. Yeah. Oh, uh, Lucky Lester is his name. Yeah, Lucky Lester. Alright. Email, did you get this email? If you're not Mario, please destroy this email. Okay. <laughs> Did we have an option to not open the box? <laughs> I forget. Uh, Enjoy your not so useless adventure. Good. <laughs> One of many boos. We will indeed be boarding. Because I'm not going to be able to go to the pit of 100 cells for the rest of the stream. 
Yep. <laughs> Chapter 6. Three Days of Excess. That sounds nice. After, you know, the, the harrowing journey we've been on. Well, no kidding. Yes. Get to enjoy a lavish train. Yeah. I don't think anything oh, yeah. can really go wrong, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, the Excess Express! This is so deluxe, man! The three days to Poshley Heights are gonna be over like that! Oh! Oh! Oh. Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. When did that get here? I see the shine sprite on the floor. <laughs> oh, I definitely do. <laughs> Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. You can it think of like... worse ways to die. Yeah. It doesn't sound like the worst doom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're you're not wrong, but con consider that he's probably comparing this against Glitzville, which uh, is yeah. a lot of flash, but not that much luxury. Mm. Well, what a freaky threat! You don't think this could be Baldum's work, do you? Whoever the psycho is, you gotta figure out they're on. You gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this nut before anything goes. Before anything bad goes down on this train. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> we'll be checking that. By the way, get used to this music because we're gonna hear a lot of it over the next three days. Yep. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's go introduce ourselves around. Okay. The end stuff. I feel like this is meant to be sung. Zip Toad? Wow! I have no idea who that is. Wow, Lizzie Bottom! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mazzy. <laughs> I don't know if the stream heard that, but uh, <laughs> I did. Se Chef Shimi. Is your yep. first name Shaw? Or, or Sa? Make your tongue cry out in shame. Even a boat. <laughs> let's let's uh, grab one and give it a try. At some point, I mean, surely there won't be any battles over here, right? I mean, I don't see why there would be. It seems like a pretty nice train. <laughs> oh hey, who's this fella? <laughs> Not very dominant. I wonder if they're from the Penguin Village from the first game. That could very well be. It's like a very businessy business person. A fancy expense account. Oh, these people. The capitals bob bombs. I have acre eyes. I don't like it. <laughs> Angry. Angry. Bubble. Matt's just giving me angry eyes. With their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm super jealous of the gift that you're going to eventually get. It's back here. Also, yes, sticky, yummy threat. We should probably, uh... Alright. I'll let you know if I see anything sticky, yummy, and threatening. I feel like that's pretty unlikely. Oh. Wait. 
Is lunch not happening? Hmm, <laughs> yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question of folks. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, I will do next. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery? A mystery, you just said? And, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? <laughs> the mystery. I am... <laughs> I am known as Pennington. You would likely not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. You have no nose, sir. Father shall let you know that. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge. Whoa. Central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is our, per our perpetrator took the whole pot to off. And this, in esteemed friends, leads me to believe that they're the one responsible. Is you, you gluttonous woman! What? Huh? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about! <sighs> I'm sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt like I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Okay then. Alrighty. <laughs> Very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case of worthy of my insult. <laughs> Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh my gosh, keep voice for him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this scene is for tall squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> you there, you better for her to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor! Zip Toad? Be Zip Toad? No! Oh! Whoa, text. <laughs> Way, Mr. Detective Person! You're just making stuff up, you. you Tweety Geezer! Tweety? Geezer? Can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then who who did do it? Hmm? <laughs> this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well, we can probably follow this trail. Seems uh, like a good thing to do to do. <laughs> oh, this looks like spilled stew in the carpet. Nasty, I almost stepped in it. You can just follow the trail to the feet, don't you think? And you know what? You might even be the nut who made the sticky yummy threat. What makes me say that? If you steal, you probably do other bad stuff, right? Uh, but like, at most a month old. I'm going to let that slide. I'm also going to switch to Goombella. <laughs> Seems a bit stereotypical, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of this game. <laughs> what do you want? <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A puck from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, you little chubby guy. Not nice. What drops a store on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spell stuff. There's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Oh, really? That's, uh, suspicious. <laughs> or made food magazines. Went to the XS Express. Oh my god. <gasps> something under the magazines. How did you fit an entire I pot in there? I had the same question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't! 
Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, it always me. Roll that up. It's still funny of year they brought they decided to bring the mystery part of Paper Mario with a, a murder at the Orient Express reference. Also, yeah, I, I just noticed you said that this isn't a real gift shop. Nothing is obscenely upmarked. Especially considering that we're on a luxury ship. You would think yeah. that the mystery prize would be like 50 coins. So, you were so enamored with the stupid that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot while the chef was chopping shallots? Answer! Yes, you yes, right. So sorry, but it was a brief moment of weak. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Just as heaven, sir. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never be done. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you would get unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthy instincts identify you as the correct person to call the ruffian. Now, about that note. Yes, I know of it. Is the lone detective on the train that conductor confided in me? But you cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, then please return the pot to the chef. Good. Sure, why not? Yeah. We're already running errands for everyone everywhere, you know. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> What's over here? Probably just some more cabins. One and two. That's the exit door. I'm surprised that this door is just open. Yeah, it's gonna be a little odd. <laughs> They're fantastic. I mean, this seems a little excessive, but... Then again, this is the Excess, ex Excess Express, so... Excess Express. Oh my god, Daddy baked cookies and they smell so good. <laughs> baked cookies, you said? Yeah, Daddy made cookies. What kind of cookies? Thick. Mazzy is yelling cookies. <laughs> Second doodle. <laughs> Sorry? Second doodle. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Here's your pot back. Drugs, drugs, drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of pot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey. So I think that might actually be a missable star piece if you just decide to not uh, return the pot or forget about it. That? Huh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you do there. I don't know if you ever actually like interact with the train ever again after this chapter. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work this glass case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our stick and yummy malcontent. I've deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in this room. Anyway, in any case, I must say, you, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. Why would it be missable? Does the chef leave after a shot? No, as I don't know if you can interact with the inside of the train. Yeah, you can ride can it again, you? but I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can do stuff on the inside again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that. I've I don't know if I've ever tried because once we've done this, there, I, is there a reason to come? I, there must be a trouble, I guess. Maybe yeah. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Parsley Heights. I am known in some circles as the Penguin with the Improbably Large Brain. That's uh, a title. <laughs> yeah, he, he is uh, interesting at titles. <laughs> I am sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on this subject. And as for your name, wait. Men, you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. 
and mustache. Nose. Oh, 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 all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> uh, close. <laughs> so close yet so far. Yeah. <laughs> No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess we're Luigi now. No one can... Like, that's the running joke in this game. No one can call us our actual name. Yeah. Now about this threat. Our, our man has declared this intent to yummify the train. The sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob there are definitely suspect. <laughs> Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. And just saying the exact same thing. And there's a bit of a day night cycle here, too. Bit of an argument going on here. I think we should get the little bub the advanced learner's classic series of Bob Ombre. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious here, perhaps a car or house. Those things sound nice. <laughs> bub is too small for such things, called Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. You need something that will further its education, not spoil him. Honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Let's go. Why not? <laughs> really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, then here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Apple. <laughs> Apple. Apple. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't ya? Oh, clearly mine, because, you know, I'm the great Gonzalez, right? I mean, yeah, you think? Hope so. <laughs> um. Wait, what? Oh, uh, well, hello. There, there. was a star piece here, okay. I didn't leave star piece. Maybe I should switch to Ms. Mouse. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we did it, we robbed the rich. <laughs> Base. We did indeed rob the rich. <laughs> the big difference is we're not giving the star piece to- well, I don't know, maybe the star piece vendor is poor. I mean, they live in the understudy of Rogue Court, so... Hmm, yeah. Good point. Ooh, there's treasure here. Treasure! Very close by. Right, true in the drawer. Oh, that'd be yummy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> in the first game that requires the item flying in the right direction after dropping it and uh <laughs> that seems annoying yeah <laughs> anyway i'm pretty sure i know who's autograph the kid wants turns out the kid likes trains too <laughs> which you know makes sense for a kid Treasure! Hey! Hey! Thanks, this man. Hmm. Hmm. So apparently, hey, I don't have enough information? Yeah, or I guess any more story triggers. <laughs> well, let's go find people to talk to. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? No. 
Oh man, don't they all? Can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Got the bat. What an ass. <laughs> Dude, Zoomy's outside. Zoomy. Okay. Oh, absolutely not. Now listen well. I'm looking for gold ring and I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along with for me? You boldly brilliant man you. That's our second lost ring today. I know, right? <laughs> We're Sonic when you need him. <laughs> Ah, I gotcha, Tyrion. I think... So have... Wait a minute. So I have a Joe Patat in chat. Joe! Joe! <laughs> Hi, Joe. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. We have taken care of the treasures on the parts of the train that we have access to for at least. Yay. I'll still see if I can use Ms. Mouse to um, find this ring. Yeah, I guess we didn't really test with the other rings since we saw it right away. <laughs> hmm. I can hear everything that the family is uh, fighting about loud and clear from over there. One thing I heard was cute. A boy becomes uh, dreams of becoming a trained engineer someday. Uh, what an interesting dream to have for a uh, rich little kid like that. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps a young boat child uh, just wants something from someone he admires. Whatever it is, you must find it soon. The yummy, sticky danger out there. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, just let it happen, I'm pretty hungry. Maybe the yummy, sticky danger is Natty's cookies. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> they are cooling. I want them. <laughs> I also want them, but unfortunately they're in a different country. That is unfortunate. <laughs> I'll say, I, I want to get other people's dialogue than just uh, omelet all the time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's easy to hear a lot of homeless dialogue, for sure. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for a little bug. Oh, well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Look Aww. at that smile. Aww, so cute. <laughs> Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Aww. I guess Gabriella had nothing to say. Which of course means no one had anything to say. Yeah. And I would love to go on a train at some point just from from like Halifax to Vancouver and like maybe fly back just to save time. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, did you bring me a thing I want most? There you go. Hey, yeah! Bingo, Mr. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh! Oh, right. hello. Take it, take it. 
Thanks for the autograph. I'll take care of it, I promise. Okay, there's gotta be a way to get the stuff on the train that you missed because. I mean, what? I think we would have gotten that anyway because uh, that's. Uh, I'm oh, pretty okay. sure that's a story trigger. Yeah, probably. Yeah, right, yeah, there it is. Hey, J Pop, how you doing? Hope you have hey, a good night. Mr. Mario, I'm, I'm glad you just spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last pa passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. I mean, someone came on board without a ticket. Still, it might just, it just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. Is it really that cold in here? You could look for that unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I think. Call me Blanket P.I. <laughs> Honestly, uh, great, thanks. I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. And oof, Tyrion. <laughs> so, it probably isn't the Bobon family. They're, uh, yeah. they're rich and affluent. Uh, I am doing alright. You're, you I'm, have an expense account, so... I am also doing alright. <laughs> Stay out of my way for a while. Mm. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, I, I'm currently doing the thing where I'm pointing at my eyes and then I'm pointing at this guy. <laughs> I'm watching you, buddy. <laughs> Is it you? Cookie! 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 <laughs> what is Mazzy yelling about demons? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a music video. <laughs> Also, I'm sure I misheard that, but I heard demons are consulting me. <laughs> Consuming. <laughs> uh, is it you? Can we not That's call it. him the chubby guy? Yeah, that'd be nice. Really? Well, wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need him back. Did you make me look for something? Please? Yes. I don't know if there's something that, um, that Ms. Mouse can sniff out. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure either. Well, this place looks uninhabited. Sounds like usual activities for Maz. Do we need an old priest and a young priest? <laughs> you know what? In the words of Red Green, if I need something that's foliated, I'll either call a plumber or, or a clergyman. Next door. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything here. But what if we pretend to not be here? Oh. Ah. Spoopy. Hello. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. The blanket. Well, yes, the conductor did leave me here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. I am Mr. Brett. No, I left no such thing. I 
can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? I'll tell you where to if you do something. What do you say? Fine. All I need is a hug. Aww. <laughs> Your life! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. Yeah. But I think my luck is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And I fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you what a blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do, <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. Good to know. Alright then. <laughs> no reading the diary, got it. No reading the diary. Not even a little peek. Mm. Even though I'm very curious. <laughs> Kinda curious. Just, just a little bit, you know. Just, just, just the tad. <laughs> Did you find it? What? A ghost? Nah. And he won't give me the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? Let's see, we'll go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. That's surprisingly well. Hmm. It isn't anywhere obvious, except for this obvious crack here. Yeah. Ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. How is that still here, though? That's my question. There's all these boxes. Yeah. These boxes labeled foods. These have not been moved for centuries. You know that. <laughs> That's how boxes of food work. Oh yeah, right, of course. <laughs> Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. I would like to see what's written in it. Actually, before yeah. I go... Um... Is Maz? So I'm probably not getting back in here. Okay. Okay. Doo doo doo. The diary that I'm not gonna read. <laughs> Definitely nope. not gonna read it. Not so, gonna read it one bit. So I'm gonna hit this save block for absolutely <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Just time to save, you know? Mm. You wanna read the diary, don't you? Yeah, I gotta do. Alright, let's, let's just a peek. I'm <laughs> uh, sure, what the heck. Maybe cursed by the ghosts. We've been cursed already four times by ghosts. Yeah, What's curse is actually good for us. <laughs> yeah. Think about this, okay? This could really, really be bad. You understand? Do it! What the heck? Month X, day X, cloud. I got on a train today. Now that train. You looked! Even though I told you not to. Now see what happens! Oh. Seems bad. We did. We we fucking did. <laughs> well, good thing I saved. Yeah, good thing you totally saved randomly, you know. <laughs> Anyway, guess, let's not read the diary. Yeah. I guess that's a bit some more danger in the chapter since, you know, there's no enemies at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is ready. But you didn't show us where it is, you just gave it to us. Also, you said that we... You can't... You can't hold any physical forms, and you just gave us a blanket? What? 
What? You are very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can feel peace for you from this moment. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Very well. And then he goes to the underwear from the next one. He goes to the underwear. Or not. Well, actually, or not. maybe not. Been here so long. I'm kind of used to it. The wallpaper is so great. Maybe I'll just stay here for a while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright, well, we've resolved that issue. Yay! <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Is there gold sticks for? You just try to get my gold right now, aren't you? You big liar. There's no such thing as gold, right? Right? Come on, tell me I'm right. Come on, please. That would be kind of cool, Tyrion. <laughs> <laughs> you can mess with rich people. Mess with what? Rich people. Oh, with rich people, yes. Um, yeah, we still haven't found any ring, sorry. There's a couple of things we're looking for right now. Well, it's night time. I imagine we should probably get some rest. Which one is ours? Number four? Or number five? Yep. Sleepy time. Sleep. We didn't sleep for very long, did we? <laughs> Did we okay. return the blanket? Oh, right, we didn't return the blanket. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we just took a little nap, it's fine. <laughs> oh, 24 hour nap. <laughs> Those are the best naps. <laughs> so, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, a young, uh, yummy and stinky mischief maker is so large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture for thanks. I mean, thanks, but I don't have any room right now. Yeah. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you just, you should turn in for the day. If anything happens, I'll report it to you me. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't want it. <laughs> um... There's something that we can replace. Nah, not really. Nah. There's that mystery, but we gotta use that in battle. Yeah, we gotta see what it does. It could do anything. Oh, <laughs> huh. uh, get shot closed. Stay closed for the night. Alright, dearie, let's turn in, shall we? I don't sure I can handle any problems. Now we're actually sleeping. Yay. <laughs> Train voyage, day two. 48 hours remain. <laughs> Anyway, we have finished day one of our trip. I think this is a decent enough time to go on break. 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 So, um, y'all can take a moment, um, go to the bathroom, uh, get something to drink if you need to. Preferably not in the bathroom. 
Uh, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And uh, in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we shall continue our journey on the XS Express. Stretch them teeth. Stretch them. So, I'll see you in a bit.